Breaking news coming in this afternoon. Controversial Pick It Up MD Amanda Nair has been removed from her post. The board of Pick It Up has ended the relationship with immediate effect. The board says they have consulted with and received support for its decision over the period from the former and then the current political leadership of the city in their capacity as shareholder. Nair has been under fire from the employees for a long time now, with her removal being a demand in various strikes. This is breaking news coming through this afternoon. Now to give us more uh, on this matter, we are joined by Anthony Stoll, the MMC for Environment uh, and Infrastructure Services, joins me on the phone line. Good, good afternoon to you. Just talk us through uh, whether we have any further details with regards to the removal uh, of Amanda Nair. Hi, Abigail. Um, you know, your press release has the uh, details, so... Um, perhaps you, you just want to ask me questions on that. With regards to that decision and how it was made, what sort of factors were taken into consideration and what was discussed uh, during those meetings? Do you have those details for us? Yes, I've been fully um, um, uh, in the loop on this. Mm -hmm. um, there, you know, essentially, there has been a breakdown in trust and relationship between uh, Ms. Nair and the board. Um, and uh, that's also follows a um, forensic investigation which was concluded at the end of June um, and then charges were laid against a, a charge sheet was issued on Ms. Nair in early July um, and um, it's led to this situation where the board has, has decided to terminate her contract, pay out her contract but um, is to keep some money in reserve in, in, um, in the light of civil actions against her. So that was the route that the board determined as the best way forward. Mm -hmm. So, so that so the pick it up can get on with the business that it's there to do. Mm. Mr. Stoll, you speak of and mention a breakdown of trust. Could you maybe elaborate more uh, on that breakdown and what exactly caused that? Well, this, there has been a breakdown of trust and relations, mm -hmm. but this particular, um, the particular charges are against Ms. Nair for breach of human resource procedures and doing, um, taking certain actions for which she wasn't, um, de didn't have delegated authority. And um, so she acted in breach of her appointment as the accounting officer of the organization. Mm -hmm. And it, it's charged, those are the specific charges against her for which this action has been taken. Mm. But that, that and has led to the breakdown of trust. Was there a, any sort of statement released uh, by Amanda Nair herself? Has she said anything as yet? Not that I know of. Uh, you would know better than me, but um, mm -hmm. um, it, may, it may well follow. Mm -hmm. And with regards to the workers and the employees there, we know for a long time that they have had issues uh, with Amanda Nair as well. Uh, has there been any response uh, from them as yet? Well, Abigail, they've only just been informed. Okay. Ms. Nair was informed um, basically in the middle of the night, last night, mm. and, um, and uh, the workers were, and the, uh, the unions and the staff were informed literally um, less than two hours ago. I see. In fact, in fact uh, I think it, um, very soon after 11 o'clock. Mm -hmm. And with regards to a replacement then, are there talks uh, uh, of that taking place soon? Has there been uh, someone identified as yet? What's the, what's the, uh, the uh, process there's, there? There's no one identified yet, but for the last two months, whilst uh, Ms. Nair has been on leave, the, um, the managing director of Johannesburg Water, Longile Dlamine, Longile Dlamini, has been seconded to that post. So he's the acting managing director of Pick It Up at the moment, mm -hmm. but um, the, we will be advertising as soon as possible for a new MD. And just lastly, do we expect uh, there to be any hiccups going forward with regards to this specific issue, uh, uh, with regards to Pick It Up, or are we expecting uh, processes to run smoothly? <laughs> Abigail, as you know, Pick It Up has been a volatile um, mm -hmm. organization uh, in the, uh, you know, if you go back, especially in the last year, and uh, we would like it to calm down and stabilize. And um, I hope that this action will um, go somewhere towards creating a more stable environment. We hope so too. Thank you, Mr. Stoll, for your time this afternoon.
appreciate you chatting to us. Anthony Stoll, the MMC for Environment and Infrastructure Services, just chatting to us uh, on the phone and confirming uh, that breaking news that uh, Amanda Nair uh, has been removed from her position at Pick It Up. Well, we do remember a couple of months ago, we saw a number of uh, protest action taking place, workers and employees demanding uh, for her removal. Pick It Up has now confirmed that she has been removed from that position. A replacement not found as yet. Uh, details are still coming through. It is breaking news this afternoon. We are going to keep you up to date. Stay tuned to ANN7.